Ever wondered what makes Eric Clapton a highly rated guitarist? Today, we're uncovering the top 10 reasons why he's not just a guitarist, but a living legend. Stay tuned, because this is a journey you won't want to miss. 10. Enduring Influence A legacy that stands the test of time has been woven by Eric Clapton. Emerging from the vibrant era of the Yardbirds and Cream, Clapton's impact on the guitar and the rock genre is nothing short of legendary. For over a half century, Clapton has been the catalyst for countless aspiring guitarists. His records became the training ground for talents like Richie Sambora and John Mayer, who honed their craft by jamming along with Clapton's iconic tunes. As David Crosby puts it, the Beatles made every young boy want to go out and buy a guitar, but Eric Clapton made them all want to learn how to play it. Even in the modern music landscape, Clapton's influence resonates. In 2014, Ed Sheeran revealed that witnessing Clapton's performance at the Queen's 2002 Jubilee concert inspired him to pick up the guitar and delve into the world of music. Beyond the realm of strings and frets, Clapton's impact extends to various genres and facets of culture. His groundbreaking guitar techniques and innovative fusion of blues and rock continue to inspire new generations of musicians. Yet, Clapton's legacy goes beyond music. His imprint on popular culture and fashion is undeniable as he remains an icon whose style transcends time. Furthermore, Clapton has been a vocal advocate for causes close to his heart, championing drug addiction recovery and the welfare of animals. His commitment to these issues showcases not only his musical prowess, but also his humanity. In essence, Eric Clapton's legacy is a beacon that will endure for generations. His influence on music, popular culture, and societal issues is immeasurable. The timeless nature of his talent and innovation ensures that Clapton's guitar playing and music will forever leave an impression. 9. Live Performances It's not just music that Eric Clapton performs live. He creates immersive experiences that transcend genres. As one of the most celebrated guitarists of the 20th century, Clapton's signature bluesy rock style has become a beacon of musical excellence, drawing fans from every corner of the globe. For close to six decades, Clapton has been a globetrotter, taking his mesmerizing tunes to hundreds of countries and playing for millions of ardent fans. His live performances stand as a testament to his mastery, earning him the well-deserved reputation as one of the greatest guitarists in the history of music. These performances have not only showcased his individual brilliance, but have also seen him share the stage with iconic names like Jimi Hendrix, B.B. King, and the Rolling Stones. Clapton's world tours are legendary, each marked by a distinct theme and energy. From the soulful Crossroads tour in 1999 to the reflective Me and Mr. Johnson tour in 2004, Clapton's ability to craft immersive musical journeys has captivated audiences worldwide. The Playing the Blues Tour in 2018, celebrating his 60th anniversary as a musician, was a testament to his enduring appeal and artistic evolution. Live albums like Live at the Royal Albert Hall, 1996, and Live from Madison Square Garden, 2010, immortalize these performances, allowing fans to relive the magic of Clapton's concerts. These recordings capture the essence of his stage presence, the soulful resonance of his guitar, and the electric connection he shares with his audience. If you've ever had the privilege of witnessing Eric Clapton perform live, you've experienced the magic of a true guitar god. It's not just a concert, it's a journey through the annals of musical history. For those who haven't, bringing up Clapton's live performances becomes more than a conversation topic. It's a badge of honor. To witness Clapton command the stage, especially in iconic performances like Layla at Madison Square Garden in 1999, is to witness a master at the peak of his powers. In the hallowed tribute to George Harrison, Edge emerges as a hidden gem from his time with the iconic British rock group Cream. Though not a chart topper in the United States, this live rendition from Hyde Park in 1996 elevates Badge to a fan favorite. The performance is a sensory feast, starting with a catchy riff that weaves its way through the song, complemented by impeccable bass, drums, horns, and keys. 
and of course, a guitar solo that's nothing short of a musical masterpiece. The energy emanating from this particular performance is bound to make you reconsider your favorite Cream song. Diving into the softer side of Clapton's repertoire, the rendition of Wonderful Tonight at Ipeona Center, San Diego in 2007 is a testament to the guitarist's versatility. This slow, melodic tune unveils a different facet of Clapton's guitar mastery, proving that his skills aren't confined to the realms of upbeat rock. Enhanced by exquisite background vocals, this delicate yet powerful performance cements Wonderful Tonight as a perennial choice for Clapton enthusiasts and a staple at weddings. The Royal Albert Hall witnessed a musical spectacle in 1991 as Clapton's performance of Bad Love earned him a Grammy Award for Best Rock Vocal Performance. The video of this rendition attests to the reasons behind such a claim. Beyond the flawless execution of the song through Clapton's lead guitar, it's the collective synergy of his band that transforms the track into an enticing jam. 8. Collaborations Eric Clapton's musical journey is not a solo venture. It's a collaborative symphony that spans decades. A maestro in the realm of rock, he has woven his guitar magic through a plethora of iconic bands and legendary musicians, forever imprinting the history of music. Starting in the 1960s, Clapton's musical odyssey included stints with several influential bands. The Yardbirds, John Mayall and the Blues Breakers, Cream, Blind Faith, and Derek and the Dominoes were just the beginning of a prolific career. Transitioning into the 70s, Clapton joined the rock supergroup The Band, showcasing his versatility and adaptability across genres. The 1980s marked a new chapter as Clapton continued to tour and record with various bands, including his eponymous Eric Clapton Band, The Yardbirds Reunion Band, and The Clapton Brothers Band. Yet, his collaborations extended beyond his own projects. Jam sessions with luminaries like Bob Dylan and partnerships with the likes of George Harrison enriched Clapton's musical repertoire. The list of legendary musicians and bands Clapton has worked with since the 60s reads like a who's who of rock royalty. His uncredited but significant contribution to the Beatles' While My Guitar Gently Weeps is just a glimpse into the depth of his collaborations. From crafting joint albums with blues maestro B.B. King to harmonizing with the legendary J.J. Cale, Clapton's musical partnerships deserve an album of their own. In each collaboration, Clapton added a touch that only he could. His guitar prowess elevated the sonic landscape, leaving an unmistakable imprint on each composition. From impromptu jam sessions to thoughtfully curated joint projects, Clapton's collaborations are a testament to the universal language of music and the seamless harmony that can emerge when musical titans unite. 7. Signature Woman Tone In the evolving soundscape of the 1960s, where guitars were becoming the heralds of a new era, Eric Clapton emerged as a sonic pioneer, crafting a tone that would resonate through the annals of rock history, the legendary woman tone. As the 60s progressed, the demand for more power prompted Marshall amplification to unleash the iconic 100-watt Marshall stack. In an era where PA systems were often feeble and regulated to vocals, guitarists found themselves relying on the sheer might of their amplifiers to cut through the sonic fabric of large venues. It wasn't uncommon to witness bands lugging multiple 100-watt Marshall stacks on stage, creating a thunderous cacophony at close range. In 1966, Eric Clapton joined Cream, a band no stranger to the grandeur of colossal concerts. With the need for more power, Clapton embraced the 100-watt Marshall stacks. However, his journey to the iconic woman tone took an unexpected turn when his beloved Les Paul was stolen. Undeterred, Clapton pivoted to a Gibson SG and an ES-335, setting the stage for a new sonic chapter. The woman tone became synonymous with Clapton's solos during the late 1960s, prominently featured in albums like Disraeli Gears and songs like Sunshine of Your Love, I Feel Free, and Swalabra. Clapton himself shed light on this distinctive tone in the BBC's Farewell Cream DVD, Defining it as a tone with the lead pickup cranked up, bass turned all the way down on the tone control, 
and volume pushed to the limits. In a candid interview with Beat Instrumental in August 67, Clapton affectionately coined it the woman tone. Some dismissed it as a gimmicky name for a tone that was honky, tough, and snarling. Others marveled at its harmonically rich, buttery smooth quality, reminiscent of the spectral sustain one would associate with a siren's voice. To Clapton, the woman tone was a vox humana, akin to the sultry feminine, ooh, with a generous dose of vibrato. Regardless of the interpretations, it marked a radical departure from anything the world had heard until that point. Even today, it stands as one of the most coveted tones for guitarists. Six, tone control. The guitar universe is filled with countless stars, but Eric Clapton stands out as a beacon guiding aspiring guitarists through the mist of media overload. Revered for his nimble fingers and revered for his tone mastery, Slowhand is a beacon, with legions of players seeking to emulate his timeless sound. As with many great blues artists, Clapton's secret lies not just in his fingers, but in the nuanced dance with the tone and volume controls on his guitar. His prowess on the instrument is undeniable, and his ability to summon raw emotion through his playing is unparalleled. What sets Clapton apart, however, is not just his skill, it's his unyielding passion for the guitar and his unwavering dedication to his craft. For over 50 years, Clapton has incorporated blues, rock, and jazz into a seamless expression of musical emotion. A maestro of the guitar solo, his intricate play on iconic tracks like Crossroads and Layla etches a permanent mark in the annals of rock history. Yet his mastery isn't confined to the electric realm. Clapton's acoustic prowess, showcased brilliantly in albums like Unplugged, reinforces his versatility and status as a true guitar legend. His influence, immeasurable and enduring, spans generations, and his journey from Cream to Derek and the Dominoes has sculpted the path for countless guitarists. However, what makes Clapton truly exceptional is not just the sounds he borrowed from other legends, but the symphony he created himself. In the nascent days of electric guitar, Clapton stood as a pioneer, injecting a dose of aggression and volume that resonated across the musical landscape. His smooth and soulful playing style, now synonymous with his name, emerged as one of his greatest talents. A testament to his mastery unfolded at the 1969 Hyde Park concert, where Clapton wielded the Telecaster, coaxing warm and mellow tones that echoed through the crowd. The Telecaster, renowned for its distinctive sound, became an extension of Clapton's musical expression. His technical prowess and harmonic finesse on full display during that performance left the audience in awe. Clapton's command over the Telecaster showcased not just his ability to play, but his capacity to elevate an instrument into an art form. 5. Melodic Approach Among solo guitarists, Eric Clapton stands out as a towering figure, an icon whose influence on blues and rock music is immeasurable. Clapton's journey, from the realms of Cream and Derek and the Dominoes to his triumphant solo career, has been a melodic odyssey that has touched the hearts of millions. Over six decades, Clapton has etched his name in the annals of guitar greatness. From the youthful exuberance with the Yardbirds to the sonic explorations with Cream, his career is rich with blues-infused artistry and heartfelt songwriting. But what sets Clapton apart is not just technical prowess, it's his ability to infuse every note with a depth of emotion that resonates far beyond the strings. Clapton's signature style is a testament to this seamless blend of technical precision and emotional resonance. His playing, characterized by fluid bends, nuanced phrasing, and a soulful touch, transforms even the simplest notes into vessels of profound emotion. His mastery of the blues is evident in every note, paying homage to his influences while adding his unique imprint to the genre. The classics he has birthed, such as Layla, Crossroads, and Tears in Heaven, stand as monuments to his guitar virtuosity and songwriting brilliance. But, like many great artists, Clapton's journey began as an imitator. He immersed himself in the sounds and spirits of the bluesmen who fueled his passion, absorbing their nuances and weaving them into the fabric of his playing. What sets Clapton apart is not just his evolution, but his consistency. 
While the world around him transformed, his approach to the guitar remained a steadfast homage to the blues. His favorite licks from the 60s still dance through the chords today, a testament to the timeless quality of his craft. Beyond the strings, Clapton's distinctive voice and storytelling prowess further elevate his artistry. His music becomes more than a collection of notes, it becomes a journey through emotions, from the pangs of heartache to the whispers of hope. In every strum and bend, Clapton crafts a narrative that resonates on a deeply personal level, transcending mere melodies to become a soundtrack to the human experience. 4. Innovative Playing In the autumn of 1968, a 23-year-old Eric Clapton stood at the zenith of his creative prowess. On the farewell tour of his band Cream in America, a BBC film crew sought to capture the magic of the young guitar virtuoso and unravel the secrets behind his distinctive sound. The resulting four-minute exploration unveils the depth of Clapton's technique. Armed with his psychedelically painted 1964 Gibson SG standard guitar, he deftly navigates through a spectrum of tones, showcasing the versatility achievable by tweaking the settings. The indispensable tool in his sonic arsenal, the Wawa pedal, an early Vox model, played a pivotal role in crafting the signature sound of Cream classics like Tales of Brave Ulysses. Clapton's journey into the realm of guitar mastery began with an unorthodox approach, learning to play by ear. Armed with a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, he meticulously dissected blues records, playing back individual phrases until perfection was achieved. His early influences extended beyond recordings. He, like contemporaries Jimmy Page and George Harrison, delved into the instructional playbook, Play in a Day. This manual not only taught simple chord formations, but also provided guidance on handling the guitar and various practice exercises. Clapton's initial foray into the world of music wasn't a seamless one. His first instrument, a modest German guitar purchased in 1958, saw only a year and a half of exploration into the blues before a temporary hiatus. Yet the allure of the blues proved irresistible, and after parting ways with art school, Clapton redirected his energies toward mastering the guitar. As Clapton honed his craft, he grappled with the potential monotony of the minor pentatonic scale, a common pitfall for many guitarists. While this scale is foundational, easy to learn, and exudes a bluesy charm, over-reliance can lead to stagnation. To transcend this melodic plateau, some turn to modes and less conventional scales, often overlooking the expressive possibilities offered by the major pentatonic scale. Through innovation and technique, Eric Clapton's musical journey showcases a consistent thread, the duality of the minor and major pentatonic scales. This harmonic marriage, a cornerstone of Clapton's sound, reverberates through the corridors of its extensive lead repertoire. In the rendition of Memphis Slim's Steppin' Out, Clapton astounds by seamlessly intertwining the G minor and G major pentatonic scales. The result is nothing short of breathtaking. Emulating this fusion in your own lead playing unveils a world of variation and depth, elevating your solos to new heights. It's a lesson in musical alchemy, one of the many gifts Eric Clapton imparts to aspiring guitarists. Clapton's brilliance lies not just in the scales he chooses, but in his ability to infuse narrow phrases with a myriad of techniques. Within seemingly confined musical spaces, he introduces hammer-ons, pull-offs, bends, and slides to practically every note. This meticulous layering transforms simple note groups into a potent sonic concoction, showcasing the immense potential inherent in a few well-chosen elements. This approach underscores the essence of blues soloing. It's not about the quantity of notes, but the quality of expression. Clapton's masterful integration of techniques serves as a testament to the profound impact that bending and sliding skills can have on shaping the narrative of a blues solo. In the realm of vibrato, Clapton's approach transcends the delicate nuances often associated with this technique. His vibrato is a forceful, muscular entity, especially evident in his early performances. The uncommon strength he imparts to each note adds a layer of intensity, creating a sonic signature that distinguishes Clapton in the blues landscape. Eric Clapton's journey is that of a devoted blues disciple. While he has explored various musical genres, 
the blues has remained a lifelong passion. His ability to seamlessly blend tradition with innovation, technique with emotion, makes him not just a guitarist, but a storyteller in the language of the blues. Three, influential blues roots. Eric Clapton, a luminary among blues players emerging from England, proudly declares himself predominantly self-taught. His journey into the intricate realm of blues guitar began in the late 1950s and early 1960s, drawing inspiration from fellow blues artists. Clapton's unique approach to learning involved an immersive process. He gathered blues records, meticulously taped them with a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, and played back individual phrases until perfection was achieved. Adding a practical dimension to his learning, he, like contemporaries Jimmy Page and George Harrison, delved into the instructional book Play in a Day, a valuable resource for mastering simple chord formations, guitar handling, and various practice tasks. What set Clapton apart in his formative years was his acute awareness of the distinction between mere blues imitators and true contributors to the genre. While acknowledging that everyone starts as a blues imitator, Clapton sought to transcend this stage. He embarked on a journey of deconstructing the guitar phrasing of diverse blues artists, incorporating these elements into his evolving style. Armed with a reel-to-reel -reel recorder, Clapton meticulously recorded himself playing iconic blues riffs, infusing each rendition with his unique touch. This iterative process became the crucible in which Clapton forged his distinct musical identity. The evolution of Clapton's musical trajectory can be traced through his association with the Yardbirds. Initially infusing a bluesy tone as the lead guitarist, Clapton played a pivotal role in defining the band's sound. However, as the musical direction shifted towards pop, Clapton, unwavering in his commitment to the blues, opted to part ways. His departure was a testament to his clarity of purpose. He yearned to play authentic blues guitar. This quest led him to join the Blues Breakers, a move that marked a deeper immersion into his blues roots. In this ensemble, Clapton continued to refine his technique, drawing profound influence from the blues. At the tender age of 20, Eric Clapton embarked on a musical journey that would redefine the landscape of guitar mastery in England. Joining the Blues Breakers, led by the venerable blues expert John Mayall, Clapton quickly became an unparalleled force in the world of blues guitar. Under Mayall's mentorship, Clapton's immersion in blues music accelerated, facilitated by access to an extensive collection of blues and jazz records curated by the maestro himself. Clapton's initiation into the blues was unconventional, sparked by a captivating moment on a children's radio show called Uncle Mac. The featured track, Sonny Terry and Brownie McGee's Whoopin' the Blues, struck a chord with the young Clapton, compelling him to acquire his first guitar. This serendipitous encounter with the blues laid the groundwork for what would become a legendary career. In the early stages of his guitar journey, Clapton found a profound muse in Delta Blues icon Robert Johnson. Imbued with a deep admiration for Johnson's work, Clapton meticulously studied and attempted to emulate the master's distinct style. The pivotal moment came with the discovery of Robert Johnson's magnum opus, King of the Delta Blues Singers, a collection of 17 transformative songs that fueled Clapton's artistic aspirations. The pantheon of blues legends continued to shape Clapton's musical identity. Muddy Waters and Big Bill Brunzi emerged as formidable influences, leaving a lasting mark on Clapton's evolving style. Brunzi's skillful and precise rhythm playing in particular left Clapton in awe, describing it as totally amazing. Clapton also delved into the realm of single-string electric blues guitar, inspired by the incomparable Freddie King's distinctive approach, notably showcased in I Love the Woman. Yet, it was Muddy Waters who stood as the towering figure in Clapton's blues pilgrimage. Waters' music resonated with Clapton at a visceral level, prompting him to absorb and reinterpret the maestro's guitar playing into his own evolving style. The intricacies of Muddy Waters' technique, coupled with his ability to generate diverse sounds, became a focal point for Clapton's dedicated study and emulation. While acknowledging the influences of other guitar luminaries like Buddy Guy and the later arrival of Jimi Hendrix, it was the bluesman triumvirate, Robert Johnson, 
Big Bill Brunzi, and Muddy Waters that profoundly shaped Clapton's formative years. As Clapton later delved into experimentation with various genres and styles, the blues remained the beating heart of his musical expression. 2. Versatility Eric Clapton's musical journey transcends the boundaries of rock, reaching into a diverse range of genres such as blues, jazz, and reggae. His exceptional ability to seamlessly fuse these varied styles into a cohesive and distinctive sound stands as a testament to his versatility as an artist. Moving beyond the electrifying rock anthems, Clapton's discography spans soulful blues compositions like Layla to the poignant balladry of Tears in Heaven, showcasing a range that resonates with raw emotion and establishes a profound connection with listeners. Clapton's collaborative ventures with iconic musicians like B.B. King, Dwayne Allman, and Steve Winwood have been instrumental in highlighting his versatility. These partnerships not only underscore his ability to navigate diverse musical landscapes, but also emphasize his knack for blending different styles seamlessly. The synergy created in collaborations amplifies Clapton's adaptability, allowing him to traverse a musical spectrum that extends far beyond the confines of a single genre. The perpetual question of whether Eric Clapton is primarily a jazz or rock musician has fueled debates over the years. Rooted in the blues, Clapton's mastery of blues guitar inherently draws from jazz influences. However, his extensive career has woven through collaborations with rock giants like Cream and the Yardbirds. Additionally, his repertoire extends into pop, folk, and country music, defying easy categorization. Clapton's music is a rich amalgamation of multiple genres, making it challenging to definitively label him as either a jazz or rock musician. Having earned induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame three times, Eric Clapton stands as one of the most influential and revered musicians of the 20th century. The breadth of his career, spanning five decades, reflects a multifaceted artist whose adaptability and resilience have solidified his status as one of the most versatile figures of his generation. 1. Exceptional Technique at the core of Eric Clapton's musical prowess lies an unparalleled technical skill that sets him apart as a guitar virtuoso. His ability to effortlessly execute complex and intricate guitar solos is nothing short of extraordinary. The trifecta of speed, precision, and fluidity on the fretboard defines Clapton's playing style, and his mastery of these elements is evident in the instantly recognizable, fast, and bluesy licks that have become his signature. Clapton's choice of instrument further accentuates his technical finesse. While he seamlessly transitions between a traditional electric guitar and an acoustic guitar, he is particularly renowned for his endorsement and skilled play on the Fender Stratocaster electric guitar, which has even spawned a signature model. On the acoustic front, the Martin acoustic guitar, with several models released over the years, has also found a place in his diverse musical toolkit. Beyond the nimble fingers and dexterity, Clapton's musical acumen extends to a deep understanding of music theory. Rooted in a solid grasp of musical fundamentals, he skillfully applies this knowledge to his playing. The result is a repertoire of intricate and captivating solos that not only showcase technical brilliance, but also resonate musically, providing a satisfying auditory experience for his audience. A distinctive hallmark of Clapton's sonic identity is his tone, an instantly recognizable sound that reverberates through his discography. Widely imitated yet never duplicated, this unique tonal quality is meticulously crafted through Clapton's careful selection of guitar, amplifier, and effects pedals. While he has ventured into experimenting with various guitars and amps throughout his career, it is the Fender Stratocaster with which he is most closely associated contributing significantly to the creation of his iconic sound. Beyond Eric Clapton's technical prowess, his musical journey is enriched by a keen ear for tone and an innate understanding of musicality. Clapton possesses a rare talent for dialing in the perfect sound that complements each song, utilizing effects pedals to shape his tone and infuse his solos with vibrant colors. Among these tools, the wah-wah pedal emerges as a standout, contributing significantly to the distinctive and defining characteristics of his sound. Clapton's use of effects pedals is not merely a technical choice. It is a deliberate artistic expression that elevates his playing to new heights. 
The wah-wah pedal in particular has become synonymous with Clapton's style, adding a dynamic and expressive dimension to his solos that sets him apart from other guitarists. However, what truly distinguishes Clapton is his profound musicality. It goes beyond the technical aspects of playing. It delves into an understanding of the emotional resonance of music. Clapton possesses an intuitive sense of when to unleash rapid-fire riffs and when to let the notes linger in a slower, more contemplative fashion. His ability to navigate the spectrum from loud to quiet showcases a mastery of dynamics, creating moments of tension and release that captivate audiences during his solos. Clapton's sense of melody is equally noteworthy. He doesn't just play a series of notes, he crafts memorable and catchy guitar lines that linger in the listener's mind. Each note seems purposeful, contributing to a larger musical narrative. In essence, Clapton is not merely a guitarist, he is a storyteller, weaving tales through his instrument. The combination of exceptional technical skill, a discerning ear for tone, and a deep understanding of musicality solidify Clapton's status as a master guitarist. His influence on the world of guitar playing is immeasurable, inspiring countless musicians to pick up the instrument. Whether delving into blues, rock, or pop, Clapton's playing is a testament to the enduring power of emotion and passion. And there you have it, guys. The top 10 reasons why Eric Clapton reigns supreme in the guitar universe. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, comment your favorite Clapton moment, and don't forget to subscribe for upcoming content. Until next time, stay tuned.